for my next project, I am going to be taking this old vanity and transforming it into two Art Deco style nightstands. It was missing the mirror, so I didn't really feel bad about breaking it apart. It had some major issues with both of the top drawers here. It was being held on by just the veneer there. But on a positive note, the hardware was all there. And so I think it's going to be a fun project. Another thing I liked about this vanity was that the both sides were fairly narrow. So it would fit great in a smaller bedroom or in an apartment. My first job is going to be removing all of these pieces here that hold the two sides together. If anyone knows what the stamp means, let me know in the comments. Vacuuming the inside just to get rid of any creepy crawlies. You never know what might be lurking, especially in these older pieces. And then I'm going to go ahead and just give it a quick clean on the outside. I was fortunate that all of the hardware was intact, but they are a little dull, so I will be painting them later just to make them really pop. I'm going to attempt to fix the damage on the drawers by uh, gluing them down. And to do this, I'm using this syringe that I just bought on Amazon. It works really well for getting glue into these little teeny crevices. They were in pretty bad shape, but I didn't want to give up on that beautiful veneer quite yet. I'm filling the syringe full of glue because I have quite a bit to do. And then I'm just going to wipe that off and screw the tip on. And making sure that that tip is on securely, I have had that tip fly off and glue squirt out everywhere on me. So I'm just going to make sure that that is on tight. I'm going to do my best to get the glue into every little nook and cranny. The places where the side supports were left a couple of gaping holes you can see there. Also, it peeled up a little bit of a of veneer on that side as well. So I'm going to be repairing those with Bondo. Bondo is actually much stronger than regular wood filler, so it's great for filling in larger holes like these. Mm -hmm. 
there was about an inch and a half on each of the inside sections that is missing part of the trim that was where one of the support boards were so after the bondo dried i am sanding that down so i can repair that section there I had a spare board that was approximately the same size from a previous project, so I just cut two pieces that would fill in those gaps. Now I'm taking those little pieces, gluing them on, clamping them down, and in about 24 hours I will be ready to sand. Starting with 80 grit sandpaper, I'm going to work on those little pieces I put in and those Bondo areas. I know it would have been a lot easier to deal with those pieces on a belt sander before I put them on, but I don't have a belt sander and you have to work with what you have. <laughs> scuff sanding the whole piece with 120 grit sandpaper and then only the areas that I'll be staining with 220. The final sand with 220 grit sandpaper on all the areas that I will be staining. Staining with Verithane water-based early American. I'm taping off for the areas here that I will be painting. I'm taking a small brush and just using a very thin coat of the top coat that I'll be using just to paint along all of the edges of the tape here just to seal them off so I get nice clean crisp lines. The paint that I'm using here is a Sherwin-Williams Ultra paint. I am not sure about the color because it was in Oops Paint at the hardware store. Um, so a uh, little tip, if you find Oops Paints at the hardware store and they are the quality, the color you're looking for, and the finish that you are looking for, you can get them at a fraction of the price. So always make sure you check out the Oops Paints at the hardware store or the box stores. Mm -hmm. 
Because I painted a little layer of the top coat on the edges of the tape, you can see that I am getting no bleed whatsoever and the lines are just sharp, sharp, sharp. Because this was such a dark paint color, I only had to do two coats. Because the hardware color was just a little dull, I decided to brighten it up a bit with this gold metallic shiny finish paint. After that paint had dried for about 24 hours, I went and put this top coat on just to give it a little bit more durability, especially since these are handles and get high use. I put on three thin coats of bare water-based polyurethane in a satin finish. Shiny new hardware goes back on. The vanity I started with and the brand new Art Deco style nightstands. Be sure to let me know what you think about this makeover in the comments. And as always, be sure to subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.